I've got the 10 hottest prospects in baseball right now. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax. Baseball season is finally here. We've got the Grapefruit League and the Cactus League in full swing and spring training. And I'm starting a new series that I'm going to call Prospect Hot Sheet. And in this series, I'm going to be doing weekly videos on the 10 hottest prospects in baseball. Now, we're using spring training stats right now, and there's not a whole lot to go off of. But as the minor league season develops, it should be a really fun series. And I'm going to be breaking down um, stats on a weekly basis. So I do not have stats for today's games in spring training. I'm going to make the cutoff on Sundays. And I'll try to post a video on Monday evening. And as you guys know that watch a lot of my content, I usually cut and edit everything. But I'm going to keep this series live just so I can provide more content to you guys. It's a lot easier when I don't have to write a ton of scripts. Um, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be huge. And you won't miss any of these videos. Cause like I said, I'm gonna to try to make this a weekly series and I'm going to do it live without any editing, uh, to make it more efficient for me and to get more content to you guys. So we're working backwards from 10 here, guys. And I kind of put this information very organized so you can, uh, get a good visual here. Now I've got their spring training stuff in the middle under their line, their stat line for the week. And what I'm doing is I'm also going to put season average, season ISOP, and season K percentage as this uh, series develops. So you can see what they're doing as a whole as opposed to what they've done over the past week. And this is a really good way to kind of keep up with who's getting hot, you know, who's on a hot streak, who could I buy right now. So uh, keep prices in mind when you're watching these videos. And if we can catch some guys before they really uh, break out, um, that would be awesome. But I think on this list, there's only, uh, there's only one guy, actually probably two that I think are really surprises for me, but we're going to start with Aurelvis Martinez who, uh, hit a bomb this past week and had two walks. He's only 20 years old. He's one of the youngest guys in spring training. He, um, I actually saw the home run live. It was an elevated fastball by Nola and he hit a P rod <laughs> to the field and the ball left in a huge hurry. So he's a young up and coming prospect for the Blue Jays, hit a ton of home runs last year. He's in 2019 Chrome and he's at number 10 right now. Um, next on our list is Corbin Carroll, who missed pretty much the entire season last year. He uh, only played in like two or three games and he had to have shoulder surgery, but he's back. He's an outfielder in the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. He went two for six this week with a double and a walk. So um, that brings his season total to 333. And next is uh, another breakout prospect from 2021, MJ Melendez. He's one of three Royals on this list this week, and he's a catcher in the Royal system. As I mentioned before, he was two for four this week with a walk and an RBI. He's hitting 500 through spring training, um, and he is a favorite to make his big league debut this year. Now, another guy we've talked about before in some other videos, who was a sleeper prospect actually, was Christian Koss, and uh, he was traded to the Boston Red Sox from the Rockies. He's a utility player. He can play pretty much anywhere in the infield or outfield, except for shortstop probably. But uh, he was three for nine with two home runs this past week and two RBIs. So his power numbers are um, are pretty impressive for the first week. And like I said, this is uh, only over a course of a couple of games, but it is the first week of Grapefruit and Cactus League. And next on our list is no surprise to be on here is uh, Bobby Witt Jr., the second Royals prospect. He's 21.7 shortstop, and he was two for four with a double uh, this past week. So look for him to do even better things as spring training progresses. And that's going to bring us to the front half here of our list. And at number five is a guy who is really going to start to climb the prospect ladder, I think, this, this year. Um, he's going to kind of break out. And he's I think he's like a below 50 right now. He's in the bottom half of the top 100. But I think he's going to start to really creep up a lot of top 100 lists uh, throughout the course of the 2020 season. It's Michael Harris. He's 21, and he's 21.0, so he just turned 21. I think he was like 21 in a month. And he was two for six and uh, had a double with two RBIs and two stolen bases. Now, I think he was caught stealing once, but he's a very dynamic player. He can really do it all, and uh, he's going to be great defensively, great offensively. He's going to be the next big thing for the Braves, I think. 
Um, coming in the four spot is Yoelki Cespedes, and he is Yoannis' brother. And he came out of 2021 Bowman. He struck out a ton last year. He defected from Cuba. He was like 23. Had a lot of strikeouts last year. But um, he's already hit two home runs because the power is there for him if he can make contact. He was three for six with two homers, three RBIs, and he's hitting 500 right now. But as you can see, he's already struck out a few times with a 50% K rate. And, you know, that's going to that's gonna drastically change over the course of several at-bats. But his strikeouts are always something to keep an eye on. Next is the big surprise on this list for me is Oscar Gonzalez. He's coming in at number three on the hot sheet this week with the Cleveland Guardians. Now, he's been in the minor league system, I think, for like six years. And he was actually not taken in the Rule 5 draft two years ago. And he's off to an incredible start for the Guardians. He's 24, but he's four for seven with a home run, two doubles, and six RBIs this past week, hitting 571 with a 709 ISOP. So he is an up-and-comer to watch in the Cleveland organization. He's been teeter-totting on the edge of uh, the high minors and trying to break into the big leagues for several years now. So this may be his chance if he can have a pretty quality spring. So Oscar Gonzalez, he's in 2020 Bowman. And uh, he's a guy to watch for sure. Uh, next on the list is our final Royal, Nick Prado. And he's a first base outfield type player. He broke out with MJ Melendez this year, hit a ton of home runs. He'd really struggled in the past few years, but in 2021, he really broke out. He's two for three so far with a home run, two walks, and two RBIs. He's hitting 667. And finally is comeback player of the year, CJ Abrams. He, uh, he was like Corbin Carroll last year. He had a leg injury early in the season. He sat for pretty much the whole 2021 season, didn't do anything. He was injured and rehabbing, and he is coming out of spring training absolutely on a mission. He's four for six with two home runs, three RBIs, and he's hitting 667. He's a special player. He can run. He can hit. He can really do it all, and uh, I think the big thing with CJ was the power numbers, and he's already hit two home runs in six at-bats in spring training, so maybe the power is no longer a worry, and um, he's not going to be like an Xavier Edwards type player. He's going to actually do a lot of damage offensively, so those are my top 10 hottest prospects this week. Now, there were several other guys that uh, hit home runs, top name prospects that you should know. Um, Luis Camposano hit a home run. O'Neill Cruz actually hit his second home run of spring training today, but I obviously didn't have the stats updated because uh, I'm cutting my weekly uh, guides off at on Sunday's uh, stats. So Brennan Davis homer this week. Gerard Encarnacion, who is uh, Don Mattingly really likes as a future stud for the Marlins. So he's a guy to watch. He's kind of struggled. He's been called up and struggled a little bit, but uh, a guy to watch, Gerard Encarnacion with the Miami Marlins, homered this week. Riley Green had a spring training home run. Austin Martin, Mason Martin with the Pirates. And Brian Ramos homered, a 20-year-old prospect from the Chicago White Sox. Very young guy. He's probably one of the youngest guys in spring training. He's the youngest guy we've talked about tonight on this list. Uh, he's a third base, second base prospect. But Brian Ramos, I've talked about him in some sleeper videos, and he's definitely a guy that you might want to check out. Uh, we've got Julio Rodriguez, who hit a hanging curveball to the stratosphere um, this past week. I don't know if you guys got to see that on Twitter. And if you guys uh, check out my Twitter, I've got a bunch of videos from some of these home runs that I posted on my Twitter account at Let's Talk Wax. And finally, Drew Waters, who is in contention for a brave spot uh, in the outfield possibly this year. Um, he's a guy I kind of wrote off as just being a strikeout gatherer, and um, hopefully he can put together a really quality spring because there's going to be some uh, some battles going on in, in, in Atlanta between uh, Pachi, or Pachi got traded, so um, he's out of the he's out of the mix. But uh, Drew Waters and guys like um, uh, Michael Harris. So that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Hot Sheet. Now, if you guys like this content, subscribe to my channel. I've got a ton of videos like this. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss this weekly series. Um, I've got a lot of exclusive content over my Patreon page. I'll put it in the uh, – you'll, you'll see it. What's, what's on it on the end video here. And um, I'm going to try to do an MLB, uh, not just prospects, but like, a, like an MLB edition of this too. Because there's guys like Bobby Dahlbeck who are, are going off right now, you know. And uh, Joe Adele's going off right now. 
in spring training. So I'd like to um, throw those guys on some on some videos too. So we'll try to find their top flagship cards and um, we'll get going with some MLB stuff. But I appreciate the views. I hope you guys enjoy the series. I'm going to try to keep it up. And like I said, it's going live. There's no editing. There's no cuts. And I'm just going to bring you the information. Uh, I think that's what you guys are here for anyway. So I appreciate the views. Appreciate my patrons. Appreciate the subscribers. Y'all have a great one.